2023 is almost over and we have to talk about whoa hands why am i doing hands i don't know am i supposed to do hands i do hands oh. <laughs> you're snorting this is my favorite two videos to do all year long really yeah because i get to brag about how many games i play but i get to do that in the next video you get to brag about how many games you played in this video because this is Scott's Games he beat in 2023. And all the metrics that go along with analytics. that. Analytics. Analytics and all that jazz. Yep. We had a pretty good year, I think. Well, we had talked about it because I had a strong first half. You did. You did. And then I don't know if you broke up the analytics. I did. And that. Okay, yeah, because the second half of my year, we were so busy around the house uh -huh. that it really, I really didn't get many games. You're gonna, you're gonna see how much yeah. you know, Scott. We did the same thing we did last year. We took a few things out, not many, and we added a few more things in just to kind of keep it interesting. And I say we just start. These are the games I played. Some of them. Some, Some of, of them, them are digital. Because there's digital ones I don't have the copies for, obviously, yes. and I can put in front of you guys. But this side are solo. This side is co-op. Yes. And you have, um, last year we talked about worst games, best games, blah, 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 yep. multiplayer. I knew everything last year. That's the only thing I don't know. So that do, will be a surprise. I do have a little list written down, a piece of paper. You told me I have my top three games, my bottom three games mm -hmm. for both. Yes. Co-op and solo play. Yes. So. Yeah, and then you added a new category, which we will talk about in a little bit. So the very first genre we have, and you played 11 different genres this year, Ooh. opposed to the eight from last year. I think we both had eight last year. But we're talking action adventure, and we have Uncharted, Uncharted 2, Overcooked, Hidden Agenda, Overcooked 2, and Moving Out. I kind of put these all together because those could be like adventure sim. Some of them could be sim type games, but in the uh, effort to not add another category, I just threw them all in with this because they were an adventure simulator. Is there anything on this list that stands out to you? I would say some of the games I'd least like the most <laughs> are on this list. There are there there's the games that are on my bottom of the list for sure. Oh geez. Yep. Um I personally really loved Uncharted 2. I was happy you dove into the Uncharted this year. Yep. I don't think you liked them as much as I did. No. 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 Okay. I liked uh, aspects of it. I liked the the combat, the shooting. Yeah. Absolutely hated the climbing. I'm just like, this is just monotonous <laughs> climbing puzzles. I'm like, oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, action adventure, not your strongest genre. No, no. Moving on, we have beat em up. And you had so many beat em ups last, last year. Last year? So many. I played too many. And this year, we had one. We both had the same one. Yep. River City Girls, too. Yeah. We just finished that. We literally just finished that. Before Christmas. Yeah. 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 Not all that long before Christmas. No. Have anything to say about that one? Awesome. Awesome. Awesome game. It, it was a really good game. Uh, yep. I really enjoyed that you could play four players. That's probably why I would put it ahead of the first River City Girls. Yes. Hack and Slash. You have two. 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 Yep. And I think they're both good games. D&D Heroes and yep. Castle Crashers Remastered. Yeah. I had fun with both of those. Definitely had fun with both of them. They were both challenging. Maybe Castle Crashers might have been a little more challenging there. Yeah, Couple yeah. Couple bosses. Yeah, I think so. A little bit. We had to play to our strengths in that game, and I think that was key to beating it. So my character, I leveled up on magic, you leveled up on strength, yep. and we kind of went at it that way. So Hack and Slash is done. Horror games. You actually played a fairly decent amount of horror games. Uh, way However, more most than, of them were co-op. Yeah, way more than typical for sure. Yeah, Resident Evil Revelations 2 plus the two bonus, is it DLCs or like bonus downloadable content? Yeah. That's the same thing as yeah, DLC, what am I talking about? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Um, you played co-op with Alex, Resident Evil 6, and all of these are co-op except for Fatal Frame. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how'd you feel about Fatal, Fatal Frame? You'll find it at the end. You'll, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you did almost quit it. No, I didn't almost quit it. I, well, I'll get to that towards the end. Okay. Metroidvania. Okay, so 
right off the bat, I forgot to write this down. down. He's she, like, what the hell? She shorted me on some games. Here. I did. I yeah. almost shorted him on a game. Yeah. So, record of Lodos War Deedlet Wonder Labyrinth. She just. That one right there. That's a mouthful. And Super Metroid. Which I didn't have listed as a Metroidvania at first. I had it listed as something else. Yeah. I just look them up, and whatever they come up as, that's what I list them as. You shouldn't even have had to look that one up. What do you have to say about this category? Both were excellent. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you'll hear more about them later. I was going to bug the living shit out of you until you played Super Metroid. Yeah. Well, I had played it before, but I never <laughs> you played never... it all the way through and exactly. finished the game. And because, I mean, hello. Yeah. Like, we have to. Platformers. One. Almost couldn't find the game. It was in the machine. It was in the machine, but it was in the wrong machine. It was there in our Game Boy Color instead of our Game Boy. Yeah. I remember talking to Brandy about her misplacing games. I'm like, it never happens to us because we <laughs> always are like very, and it happened to it us. It was in the game room. It was in the game room. Yeah. We just had misplaced it. Yeah. But Kirby Streamland was your only platformer. You know what there? Like you had said that to me earlier, you know, platformers. You had more platformers last, last year. You had yeah. an entire page of yeah. platformers. It's like, it's not the thing I'm drawn to. No, definitely not. I bet you more of those platformers were co-op games. Probably. And speaking to of it, something you are drawn to, RPG. Yes, my RPG category. Yeah. So yeah. you had. I'm gonna fuck this up. Sweep it in. That thing. Uh, Warhammer Chaos Bane, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, Star Ocean, Trinity Trigger, Lunar Silver Star Story, and Final Fantasy on the Pixel okay. Remaster. Star Ocean, the first one, I bought a uh, yeah. reproduction cart that was translated into English. True. Because it's true, a true, Super true, Famicom true. game. Yeah. Um, the Final Fantasy, it's Final Fantasy number one, I played on the Pixel Remaster. Yeah. Um, Which is probably the definitive way to play it now. Probably. And uh, Lunar Silver Star Story, we're going to have a standalone video of that. Yes. And talk about that some more. Yep. So we won't talk about it right now. Shooters. Yep. Uh, you have three. Mm -hmm. Metal Wolf, Hunt Down, and Punisher. I feel like you didn't love Metal Wolf. Would you want me to like the sport <laughs> right now and tell you? Or? Okay, no. <laughs> I'm just saying that's the feeling There's, I got in I the game. I love one. <laughs> this is one of those... Uh, yeah, you, know, you love one, you hate one, and you, yeah. <laughs> and you marry one. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? You don't love or hate the marry one? Which is indifferent. Yeah. Run and Gun, this is a new category for this year, and you have three on the list, and it's a mouthful. Gun, Score, and Cannoli. Gun, Score, and Cannoli, too. And <sighs> Warhammer, 40,000, Shooters, Bloods, and Teefs. 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 We literally just finished that we did. Uh, two nights ago. Yeah. Be like, because that one's not a long game. No, it's not. But, it was like but, three and a half hours. Yeah, but it, it's excellent co op game. Really, like, really like fun. Fun, yeah. If you yeah. like the uh, Guns, Gore, and Cannoli games, I can't say why, why you wouldn't like that. Yeah. Uh, Schmups! This is a new Shmups. category for this year, and you have all of one Dead all Nation one. Apocalypse Edition. Yep. You played that with Alex? I did. Uh, basically, Alex drug me through that game <laughs> because I was in over my head. The yeah. difficulty that we were playing on. He always tends there to pick was, like high difficulty. Well, yeah, but there he was. He was literally, I was dead weight. And he was pulling me through there because there was levels that I, I would die like right off the bat, and he would make it through to the save point. Really? And then once you get the save point, you can you respawn your oh, the other okay. character, and he keep going. And then you die again, and he well, make it to not the quite end? that bad, but I'm I'm telling you, there it was. Levels were just ridiculous. You played there. most of it and you played almost none of it? Uh, yeah, I played about three quarters of it. <laughs> yeah. And then we also have sports. I just wasn't <laughs> sure if you were going to add this one this year. If I had this, Dennis would be disappointed. I mean, you played 50 hours of it, so yeah. Super Mega Baseball 3, again, if you yep. watched last year's video, this is basically, they're playing it again, they played it again. Yep. You are on Super Mega Baseball 4, it's just yeah. you haven't had enough time. Yeah. Or I haven't let us play. I haven't let them play. Yeah. Because I want to play selfish. games. Too. I'm selfish. <laughs> yeah. That's done. That's all okay, of his so genres. So now I get to see the analytics exactly. of each one there. Exactly. Okay, so this is all new to me. I have no idea about any None of these of analytics. Okay. So these are all the genres you played. This is not necessarily the amount of time you put into it. This is just how many games is... you played from each genre. Okay. Percentage wise. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. 
20.6% of your games were RPGs. Not surprised. That was kind of a goal from last yes. year's video. What I am surprised by though, 17.6% yeah. of them were horror. I would also be surprised by that. Yes. Yeah. Um, these little ones are like, that shmup, that, I think that was like three or four percent. I can't remember because it's it doesn't show up here. It shows pink. up on the chart. It's yeah. in pink. Um, that was your lowest. Oh, okay. It might be like neck and neck with sports and fighting. So 2.9%. Now that doesn't tell you how many hours you played. Just no. that category because you'd have a lot more invested in sports and fighting. Oh, yeah. Because of yeah. Super Mega Baseball. Yeah. Okay, next. Genres played and hours, hours played, played in each genre. So this is a little bit different. Okay. So you did play seven RPGs yeah. and that was 209 hours. Okay? Who, nobody's surprised by that <laughs> nobody's number. Surprised you say, by oh, I just got played seven RPGs this year. They're gonna be like, Whoa. Were you surprised you played 209 hours of RPGs? Yeah. Do you know what I think really bumped up those numbers? What? Trinity Trigger. Yeah, I And Trinity Trigger, 50... one hours. 51 was it? 51, 51 hours. hours. Yeah. And that was your longest 51 game? or 53? That was 53. Uh, we'll look at the paper and we'll pop it up here or in front of his face or whatever. But it was your longest game. It was also my longest game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, which is not probably surprising. Yeah, you know what? There, it's my longest game, but I could have finished it 10 hours before. And? And then we and we could have played 10 hours more. We could have Because there was so much left. That last part of the game is well it past the story. Hard. It was just yeah fighting for stuff mm -hmm. for no reason basically just to basically. keep playing the game uh horror was your second biggest category 69 I'm... hours played oh good number, good number. <laughs> yeah and i it's hard to believe 69 well hours. it's the devil in me little hope yeah. man of Medan, a lot of resident those evil are like six. multiplayer <laughs> like resident evil 6 i put a fair amount out yeah and i'm shocked at how many hours it took me to beat uh, the fatal frame. frame that's true uh, and then your smallest category was platformer because you just had 0.5 hours. Half an hour. Uh, half yeah. hour. And that was it. So that is hours played in genre and the genre. What was my played. total hours? Are you, do you We're have... going to get to that. Calm your horses. Okay. Okay. Console game breakdown. Now, you did play on nine different consoles, which is down from last year. So I left the ones in that you played last year that you didn't even touch this year. Okay. You didn't touch Xbox One, you didn't touch NES, Genesis, PS2, PSP, Wii, or Wii U. Yeah. You didn't play anything in that. And, like last year, you played no PS3 games. Yeah. Not even one. No, I know. I know, and it's you know weird. What? Because when it comes to playing a PS3 game or an Xbox 360 game, and if it's co-op, which were most of my mm -hmm. games, Alex is picking uh, 360 That's over true. PS3. If the game is on both systems, it's going to be the 360. That's it's true. Serious. You played oh. 16 PS4 games. That's probably that was your... mostly co-op. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that was and your you know highest what? played console. Wii U is victim to the PS3 yes. thing that happened last year, where people bombarded YouTube with PS3 to the point where I was sick of hearing PS3. And then this year, I was absolutely sick of hearing Wii U. Wii U. Yeah. Need my full Wii U collection. I'm like, well, that's great. But like, <laughs> everybody's getting a full Wii U collection. It can't be that hard to get. <laughs> oh, this next screen is going to break it down more by how many hours you played in each console okay. versus the amount of games. But it's also going to give you your total played for the year. Okay. Okay. So last year, you played a little over 400 hours. Okay. Do you think it's gonna be higher or lower than last year? I guess maybe a little bit higher. Okay. How much higher do you think? I don't know. All right. This is not the price is right. 534.5 hours played, so you have increased by like over 100 hours. Like over 120, 30 hours. That was one of my goals. I, I don't believe I said that in last year's video is that if I don't get as many games in, I would like to pour, put more hours in because I wanted to play more PS1 RPGs. Yes. And I knew those were going to be bigger games. Yeah. So. Your most played was on the PS4 and you were close to 150 hours on okay. PS4. And then PS5 was around 80 hours, PS1 was right up there, and then the lowest ones were Switch and Xbox 360. Did you break this down 
between co-op and solo? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yes. I used every graph we had last year and I still broke it down. So, co-op versus single. Yeah. You played 64.7% of your games were co-op. Not. I wouldn't have been surprised <laughs> if you told me it was 75%. Yeah. yeah. I'm and, not surprised uh, at all. 35.3% were single player. Retro versus modern, 23.5% retro. This is overall a co-op and single player. This is both them together. Yeah. Okay. And then you played 76.5% modern. That's all the co-op games. Yes. Yeah. Now, when we break it down to just single player games, because I know you asked me to do this <laughs> last year to make yourself feel better, we did it again. Single player retro was 58.3% and single player modern was 41.7%. And I do believe that's a bit down from last year. I think you played more single player retro last year. Did I? Did yes. I really? Yeah, than yeah. single player modern. Yeah. You played a few more modern games this year. Yeah. All right, this is where I broke it down for hours, oh. 2022 versus, versus 2023. 2023. So you played 407 hours for 33 games in 2022. Yeah. 534.5 hours and 34 games, one more game extra in 2023. So that's an increase of 24% in hours and 3% in games. <laughs> <laughs> so that one extra game. I wasn't even expecting to get, I honestly thought I was gonna be a fair bit below in the amount of games I played. And maybe, well, if you had to ask me a month ago, where I thought I was on hours played, mm -hmm. that I was like, probably around the same as last mm -hmm. year's, but I wasn't sure. You beat my hours for last year. I played oh. 499 hours last year. Okay. For six months, you played- Oh, this was the, yes. yeah, because I was curious yes. to see because I, this I was felt like I played, uh, I played most of my games in that first six months because once June hit, Shit hit the fan here, like yeah. adulting hitting it kicked in real hard there for oh, yeah. many different reasons. Yeah. So you weren't wrong. Yeah. The first six months yeah. of the 534 game hours, hours? you yeah. played 534.5. You played 392 of those in the first six months. 73% of your gaming was in the first six months. And in the last six months you played 142.5 hours and that was 27% of your gaming. How crazy is that? Yeah, you know what? First six months, I was way happier. <laughs> <laughs> playing more games. And playing more games. Yeah. Oh, I was missing it. I was definitely missing it. I, I need it. This is my like, like happy place. Like yeah, just like sit down, and relax, and mm -hmm. get into a story or whatever, and focus on me time. There, yeah. kind of zone out the world and your problems and all that but we just had so many things to do with the house oh yeah you you stopped your uh daycare you stopped so daycare business yeah. so then that room had to be renovated the other the retro, retro, we call the retro room, room yeah. is now complete that was another thing we had a leak in the basement there that was a big deal which we is went not to done south yet carolina. we went to south carolina that yeah. was good though that, that was, was that was, was awesome really that was a there. good yeah, it, yeah. Just, it just was a lot of work, and I'm I'm not even remembering half of it there. No. And, and every year around October, with fall and getting ready for winter mm. and all that, there it always gets busy. So it was just I just felt like there was one thing right after another, after another, after another. And sure. then we worked a lot of overtime this year, Christmas time. Yeah, we and, did. Well, I, I overall I'm pretty happy with oh yeah the amount of games, but it makes me curious to think that if. I had as strong a second half, where would I have landed? Oh my god, right? <laughs> it would have been so freaking awesome. Yeah, it would have been. Okay, <laughs> so I want you to tell me the stuff that I don't know about. Alright, so what do you want first? The good, the bad, or the ugly? Whatever way you want to give it to me. <laughs> Alright, I'll, uh, I'll do the worst first. Okay. So the worst games, in my opinion, this year, mm -hmm. and it's not that I didn't enjoy them, it's just on this list, let's just get that out of the way right now before people start crucifying me in the comments there. I don't typically pick games that are going to be sucky just to complain yeah. about them. I yeah. pick games that have been recommended or I see gameplay or whatever, and I'm, I'm picking games that I think are going to be good. Yeah. So I'll do the co-op ones first. I had two games. You wanted me to put three on there. Well, I didn't necessarily need you to put three. I was like, no. if you don't have three, don't put three. So I have <laughs> moving out. Moving out. You knew that was going to be there. Overcooked two. Nope. What? 
Hidden, Hidden agenda. agenda. Sorry. Hidden Agenda was the worst game. Mm -hmm. And this probably has something to do with the ending and maybe we were into it with the group yeah. and all that stuff. It could have been that. Yeah. It could have been so that. So the bottom of the list for the solo mm -hmm. single player games mm -hmm. was Metal Wolf Chaos. Yeah. I'm not surprised Not that, that I didn't enjoy it. It has, even though I played it on the PS, it's an, it's an original Xbox, yeah. Japanese exclusive, I do believe. Uh, I got the version on the PS4. Yeah. And, uh, jeez, I don't even know if I put it on the table here. We didn't even like it. <laughs> it's like, screw that. I don't think I did. I think it's still over there. Yeah. But anyway, it wasn't bad, but it has, it's corny and it's supposed to be corny. Yeah. It's a mech game, which I like those mech games. You do. But it just, if you ask me would I go back and play it, I mean, well. I was, well, I'm one and done on that I one. feel like you one felt like some parts were unneedlessly hard and redundant. There's a lot of redundancy there. Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. And but, I remember you complaining about it. You'd be like day to day. I'm like, how are you feeling about it today? You're like, oh, it's not too bad. I'm enjoying it. And then the <laughs> next day you'd be like, It wasn't that long a game, game, though. Like, it was maybe, what, 12, 16 hours? Yeah, it, like wasn't, it's it not wasn't that, all that long. It's not that long of a game. All right. Yeah. So let's get on with the good okay. then. So we'll go the uh, two player or multiplayer games first. And you have a top three. I do have okay. three and I'll start from the bottom. Okay. Hunt down. On your bottom? Of the top three. Okay. <laughs> Hunt down is on the bottom of the top three. Okay. Awesome game. It, it's an awesome amazing game. game. It can be difficult though. Mm -hmm. It can be. Mm -hmm. But it was awesome. But yeah. we're going with levels of enjoyment and we did split play time with Dennis sir. Yeah. I mean you started it, we played probably half the game and then Dennis kinda handed control yes. back and forth with him for the last half of the game. Yeah. So I don't know if that had something to do with it. But it was a good game. Really yeah, good game. I, really I would play it. it again. Oh absolutely. Uh my best game, do you want to take a guess? Oh, was it D D Heroes? Nope. River City Girls too. Oh shit! I forgot. Yes, of course. River City Girls two was yes. the best co op game yes. this year. I should have by a mile. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you that D&D &D just missed the cut there. Was, Did it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, so, what's your middle one, then? My middle one? R I just you gave you three. Yeah. Oh, sorry, no, no I didn't. did not. I'm dumb. But the second one I had, you'll never guess it. You want to take a guess? Is it Super Mega Baseball 3? No. No? Okay, I don't know. Resident Evil Revelations 2. Oh, right! You guys really enjoyed that. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. really enjoyed it. And that was like the first Alex. game you played of the year. Yeah. yeah. Really so the fact I keep that telling... that held through the entire year. Yeah, me and Alex played through that. I, uh... I say that I said that you and Dennis should play oh, through yeah. it. I can sit and watch, because it's not an overly long game either. Well, I don't even mind playing it with Alex. If yeah. you wanted to play it again... I'd be fine with that because him and I are playing Resident Evil 6. Spoiler alert for next year. Maybe we'll finish it. Maybe. <laughs> so best single player games uh, for the third spot. Mm -hmm. I have a tie because I couldn't pick. Okay. Do you want to take any guesses? Because <clears throat> there's two games. You might have a chance. Uh, I think this would be the harder of the three ca three slots. I just don't. I don't think I played that game. You don't think you played Fuck? Um, shoot. Uh, um, oh, right, they're single player. What am I doing? Yeah, they're on the side. Uh, Final Fantasy? The first one? The, the Pixel Remaster? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> For I have a tie. I have a Wonder Labyrinth. I was gonna say that one! And Fatal Frame. Okay! For I'm surprised. It's completely different reasons. I'm kind of surprised Fatal Frame is on there because you were Wonder Labyrinth by. was so friggin' fun. I could barely put it down and I blew through it so fast. But the boss battles and everything, I just love the whole design of the game. It'll be mm -hmm. a game I play again 100%. No problem. Yeah. Fatal Frame. If I go back to play it again, which I could see maybe years down the road when I yeah. forget it, the trauma. <laughs> I I had I don't look I don't want to look up anything when I go into a game and play it right yeah so I messed up my first night so bad I screwed up like um all my in, like health yeah. and all that stuff I put myself in the hole so bad that night two was difficult to get through mm -hmm. and then I thought night three was gonna be the last night 
And it wasn't. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like, oh, there's another night. I was, I was nervous you were going to have to shelf oh, it till next year. Oh, my God. Like, I was really nervous. This game took me 20 hours, and it's not and a 20-hour game. And it shouldn't have. I yeah. died a bajillion times mm -hmm. because I screwed myself so badly in that first night by just running there and there blind. Like, ah, ha, 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 look at the ghost. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it, that's definitely has a lasting memory on me. Oh, like, yeah. Atmosphere. Like, uh, the game's awesome. Yeah. The story's awesome. You would love it. I know I would love you it. You would love it. Okay. Okay. Number two? Number two. Want to take a guess? Oh, I'm not good at this. Clearly. Is it even on the table? Yeah. I don't think it would be Lunar. I think Lunar's number one. No number two guess? Super Metroid. Ding, oh, ding, 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 ding. Lunar might not be number one. Maybe it's Suikoden, but no, I think you liked Lunar more. I really so, did. So, Super Metroid, number two. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Oh my god, so good. Like, I loved it before, but I never got more than halfway through the game. Yeah. I get stuck in this and that. So this time, I'd ha I we, we did the thing where we, we print off the map, and uh, so I know how yes. to get there. You still have to do it, but it's like, holy It crap. makes it a little bit easier when you have the map, for sure. Right, but that last that last level, holy shit. Oh, I know. That last it's level a lot. Hard. Mm -hmm. Take two, because we ran out yeah. of time. Yeah, so <laughs> I want to say film, but there's no film in there. So Jen already knows what my top game was. For the yeah, year. I'm not. I, I already knew it. I wasn't it. surprised. So... You guys don't know yet. No. I'm going to tell you. Yeah. It was Lunar. Lunar, Silver Star Story, complete. Yeah. Um, this was, I only um, beat three single player games in the last six, six months. months. And yeah, that was crazy. Lunar, Fatal Frame, and Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. Yeah. Um, one I loved, one I loved being done with. <laughs> <laughs> Really enjoyed, like, after I finished Fatal Frame there, I was like, oh, man, yeah. That, yeah. Really cool. Well, it was challenging. Oh, I screwed myself over. Yeah. I, I, what I should have done, I would have did it in half the time, was just restart the game, and I could have went through it a lot faster. Yeah. But, yeah. But. And then the uh, Pixel Remaster was... That was my surprise of the year. Yeah. You know, I yeah. don't know if that's on here. We no. We restarted <laughs> it, but that was a category that we were going to talk about was... What was the surprise game of the year? Standout game of the yeah. year that you were surprised yeah. by. It was the so the surprise game that I wasn't really seeing coming was the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. And the reason why was because when I think of the first Final Fantasy game, I think of the Nintendo. And I'm mm -hmm. like, what what can they actually do with an RPG back then? And I was shocked at how big the game was. Yes. The Pixel Remaster obviously adds lots of quality of life stuff Improvements? There. Oh my god. Yeah, like some, like the graphics, obviously. But uh, the ability to save pretty much anywhere mm -hmm. was, that's that's a must for adults. An adult, now. yeah. Like, if you're busy and you only have time to go down and play for an hour. You don't want to be stressing out. Yeah. Am I going to be able to get to a safe state? Because spot? that's exactly what I said when I was playing Fatal Frame. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I generally only have an hour, hour and a half. I'm like, I don't There's even no feel point. I can get into it at that point. Yeah. I feel like I need like three, four hours to go down there, put a big dent in it so I don't forget stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 The Pixel Remaster. Like, I loved it so much. Final Fantasy number one that I'm I'm really considering playing the rest of them two uh, three four way. five six that way on there. Um, I I mean I don't blame you. I do have the physical copies of uh, Final Fantasy two and three yeah. here. Yeah. Um, which would be four and six. I don't even four can't. and six. No, nope, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so, um. I do have the ability also to play on an EverDrive because my beautiful wife got me an EverDrive, so oh, I, I would still have that ability to save at any time. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Mm -hmm. Do you think would this be the best way to play them? Like play them on the Pixel Remaster? Yeah. You know, get those extra nice shiny graphics. Or I think a get lot the of quality people... improvements there, or or yeah. stick her. You know, go go old school. If we're wearing the same shirts in the next video, it's because we're filming it back to back. We're going to talk about the games I beat in 2023. But for now, until next time, game on. I think we didn't run out of video this time. Well, 